Hello, in this video we're going to work through a possible solution to the exercise I gave you in the last video. Do watch this video even if you successfully did the exercise because I'm going to make a few remarks here. Um, if you've managed to output this text by any means at all then basically you've, you've done the exercise and uh, you've solved the problem. Uh, if you couldn't manage to do it then um, maybe watch this video and, and try again, try to get that working. You should be able to do this, especially, you might need to watch the previous video again, but you should be able to manage it. Okay, so I'm gonna store all the text here in strings. So the first one, let's call it prompt and set it equal to select an option. And then we'll have also a string option one equals add an entry. Now you can use numbers in variable names, like I've used one here. You just can't put them at the start of a variable. So putting them at the start of the variable gives you an error, but you can use them at other positions in your variable. And we'll have two more of those, which I'll call option two and option three. Option two is gonna be view the database, and option three is gonna be exit, We'll also have some numbers in here. Just we'll separate those out just to make it as complicated as possible. Uh, let's call this value one and set it equal to one. Uh, notice that this is a number and we're, we're assigning it to a variable of type int, which is an integer. If I had a one in double quotes like that, so this gives us an error because here we'd need type string because this is text. So whatever you put in quotes, it doesn't matter even if it's digits and it looks like a number. It's not a number, it's some text. So stuff in quotes is treated as text. Uh, whereas this without the quotes is, is a number. And those things are different. Numbers and text are treated differently in Java. So it doesn't matter if you've got text that just looks like a number. It's not number, it's not a number here, it's text because it's in quotes. Anyway, we'll get rid of those and um, we'll copy this and we'll have another two of them. So value one, two, three, two, three. So we could just output those. Um, we could also store them in another string. Let's call it menu. Uh, so what do we have? We, we have prompt and then we've got option, we've got value one and then we've got option one. Um, I, I could just type these out in a, in a massive long line. I could add them all together, but I'm gonna do something slightly different. Uh, let's, let's in fact start this off as just being an empty string. All right, and then we're gonna say menu plus equals what does plus equal do? Well, um, this um, is the same as writing menu equals menu plus this other stuff. Um, so in the context of a string, what plus equals does is it takes the existing string, whatever's already in it, which here is nothing, and then it adds more stuff onto it. So um, by this means we can build up the menu without having a hugely long line. We're gonna see another way of doing this later on, but for here, let's carry on like this. In fact, let's, let's set this initially equal to prompt, and then I can add on the values and the options. And what I'm striving for here is I'm striving for elegance. I'm trying to make this look beautiful because I want it to be clear and easy to read. I want it to be very logical so I can see what's happening here. The more beautiful your program is in general, um, the easier it is to modify it and remember what it's actually doing and that sort of thing. Let's try outputting that. So at each stage, I'm using plus equals to add more text to the existing string. It starts off as prompt and then it's prompt plus um, one add an entry yeah there we go then it's uh, we take that string and we do plus equals and then join this on 
So we're using plus equals to keep, we keep adding more text to the menu. So if we output that, what's it look like? Terrible because it's all on one line. There's no tabs or anything. Let's add in some tabs. So um, to do that, we could just, we could just put them literally in, in here. That would work or here. Let's try it. So here I'm going to say, I'm going to put it in double quotes slash T plus, do I need anything else? Um, I don't think I do at that point. Uh, so the others are going to start with two slash T's. So I'm going to have slash T slash T plus, and we also actually want a dot and a space after the option. So I need to add that in as well. So let's put that here, dot space plus. Okay, so it looks like this. Let's go through and add all of these in. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it. I'm trying to use as few keystrokes as possible as well because uh, it saves typing. Let's run that and still not working because we, we need the new line. It looks better though. So let's add in some new lines. Let's say here plus slash n. I need double quotes there. All right, um, and I need to add these to the end of every line. So now I finally I run this and I've got my menu here. Okay. So now this is really a horrible program. I would never normally write a program like that. It's the best we can do um, if we, on the one hand, divide everything up, putting everything into separate variables. But on the other hand, uh, we stick to things that we've seen so far. We don't use programming constructs that we haven't seen yet. Um, but uh, with some more knowledge, we could reduce this down to a much smaller program. Uh, and at the very least a more elegant program that doesn't have all this repetition in it. There's a lot of repetition in here, which we could eliminate, and we're going to see how to do that in a future tutorial. So if you did something that output this text correctly, um, give yourself a pat on the back. If you did something horrendously complex like this, then that's amazing. That's really wonderful. Um, if you didn't, then I suggest typing this out. Try typing it out for yourself to see what it does. You can even output the menu like here before you've completed making it so you can see what that does. So if I run this, so now I should have two menus. So I've got this menu fragment at this point and then I carried on adding two more options to it and I create this second menu which I output here. Okay, so try typing this out if you can be bothered at least, I know it's a bit verbose, and see what it does, maybe experiment with it. Check that you understand this. Check you understand the idea of adding more text onto an existing string. Okay, so we're gonna go on to look at some things that would make this a lot more elegant and have a lot less duplication in it, but we'll leave it there for the moment. So until next time, happy coding.